The return is near. You already know. This Saturday, August 24th. Yeah. B.Y. Jennings, Joel Caudell or Caudill. I mm. came out and wanted to butcher his name, but how you feeling, man? Oh, man, it's good, man. It's, uh, it, feel, it almost feel like the first time. Yeah, it almost feel like the first time, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. I've been there. It is what it is. I've been there, uh, you know, numerous times. So, uh, I just can't wait for it to hurry up and happen because, you know, it's, uh, it's been take, it's, it's been taking quite a while. It seemed like with this particular fight, you being an established name, mm -hmm. fought in the big arenas, you were like ushering in like the new era. It's a bunch of you know young killers on your yeah, card yeah. When, on your return. What does that feel like? Yeah, it just uh, I feel like the OG. Like it's crazy, crazy. And I understand that I am, uh, but but in all actuality, it's like yo, it really is just crazy because it's like. It's like damn, like you know, you know, nearing forty, you know, for next month. It's just like damn, like where did that time go at? And you know, you see a bunch of young up and coming, uh, up and coming guys, and you're just looking down at them. Like, the crazy thing is, I have no envy towards none of them. The envy is only within. Like damn, I wish I would, what I wouldn't do to be twenty, whatever again. That, that's it. But I try to give them as much game as possible. So, um, you know, because it is what it is. Father Tom is undefeated, and no matter what. You know, there's always a new generation that come after you. So you want to, most people want to spend spend the rest of their life being bitter over what's younger. Like, nigga, this, this is just normal. This is how it go. So it, feel, it feels good. I feel like an OG. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it feels good. All right, as far as you go, right? Mm -hmm. You're headlining this event. It's at the Met. I didn't even know I was headlining. I, I don't even know how that go. I, I, I would have thought so, but I think something else. Because uh, Chris Colbert and uh, Naya Albright was supposed to be. Yeah, that, that's a good fight, but yeah. heavyweight division is the heavyweight yeah, division. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And looking around, right, um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to look past this guy, but you've been on world level. You've been in there with Hall of Famers. You've been in there with killers. Right. Looking around at the landscape, the heavyweight division has a lot of motion. With yeah. a victory, how does that you know, like how does that play out with you? You wanted the bigger names. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I understand that I fight. I fight. The better, the better the fighter, the better I fight too. You know, uh, and the bigger the fighter, sometimes it be easier. You know, it's uh, it, it's not always something that's that's difficult when it comes to like a bigger, bigger fighter. So for me, I find the bigger fighters easier. So uh, and then I, I do well under pressure. Under pressure that I already, like I love being the underdog. So like this fight here, it's like, okay, I'm not an underdog. So sometimes it can be like, ah, I gotta make it seem as if I'm the underdog to pretty much psych myself out to, you know, to, I guess, level it out and balance it. But um, the game is wide open. Um, and But I always look towards the leverage that I that I knew for sure that I had, which was like the bridge away, you know, that, that leverage. Um, and then, you know, at any given time, you know, Jump in, bounce around, or answer, you know, or be right next to that phone, you know, because it's it's it. There are there are some younger guys that are that are new and up and coming, but for the most part, you know, seventy five percent of the people are from my class. So it is what it is. It's very open, and it's very doable and possible.